with questions for Andrew after coach, and then we'll go over questions for coach. Yeah, um, NC State's got a really good basketball team. That Kevin's done an unbelievable job with his team this year. They, they're going to be uh, make some noise in the AC tournament and in the NCAA tournament. Uh, they definitely have a tournament team that can go win games. I think they're uh, very, they're very athletic. Their guards are really quick. They can really move their feet. They're physical. I thought they kind of wore us down as the game after we, both teams stopped playing horse out there, and um, you know it became a basketball game. I'm uh, really impressed with the way Joyner moves his feet. I know he can score. He's, he was the best player on the court. But I'm really impressed with the way he moves his feet defensively. Uh, you know, Morsell's just steady. And, you know, Smith's a great player off the bounce. I uh, thought we did a really poor job in handling the ball for a team that, again, has been our hardest against Miami. You know, i got to give uh, NC State credit for that some, but we, some of those are just atomic bomb things that we can't do. And we don't get enough shots when we turn the ball over like that, because we don't turn people over a lot. So it's, it puts us in a tough situation. Um, so I thought that hurts. I thought the biggest play in the game uh, for us uh, was when we cut it to eight. Um, Ty made three free throws uh, coming out of the eight-minute media. And um, we cut it to eight, went down, turned them over. We had a play called in the in the, in the the um, huddle for him to slip to the basket. He did. He caught it. And, I don't know, he fell down, traveled, I don't slip didn't score, and then they went down, and we didn't guard the best player on the court in defensive transition, and he made a three, John Kelly Jordan. And that was ball game to me. I thought we had a good chance. We're still fighting. Team's got a lot of fight, but, um, you know, you know, Burns played a good game. He's a hard hard guy to guard. I thought we did a better job guarding this game, obviously, than we did last game. Um, and, and when we did trap him or double him, when we, fought, when we did get the baseline cut off, we did a good job when we did it. We did it, and that's that's the responsibility of the five every time. So, again, uh, congrats to uh, to Kevin and his team, and uh, I think they're going to be really, really good here in postseason play. Questions for Andrew. Uh, Yeah, I think it was a, a bit of a swing. You know, we had the possession um, as uh, it was running in a half, and um, we were going to get the ball coming out of half as well, trying to look to – to score two times in a row there. And, um, you know, unfortunately, he uh, injures his knee, falls down, and, and they get a dunk on the other end. Um, so I think that, you know, definitely was tough going into half. Andrew, can you describe that, that first half coach did? Yeah, definitely. I think. Um, credit to them, they're they're hitting shots as well, and and you know we did a, our, our offense um, has proven time and time again that we've been able to when we get shots on the rim, we're able to put up a lot of points, and um, I think especially in the first half, a lot of things were rolling for us. Um, but when you give up 52 points in in a half, um, that's not the not the recipe for success, and and so um, we knew going into halftime that we we were gonna have to try and, and get some stops, and um, we weren't able to do that uh, well enough in the second half to to win the game. Um, I don't know. I think uh, it's, it's a combination of a lot of things. Um, you know, I think teams are are trying to. Come up, you know, we, we obviously run a lot of ball screens for for Tyree and and um, he's able to kind of pick apart defenses, but um, teams are trying to to face guard him and, and double him. And, um, you know, I, I think that that sometimes will, will uh, send us for a loop on offense, but also just simply not going back to our fundamentals, even just not being strong, um, playing off of two feet and um, launching. We're going to the basket, jumping on passes and, and things like that, that, um, you know, led to a lot of live ball turnovers and, and leak outs to dunks for them. You had a couple chances late in the game. What's it like to try to defend DJ Burns down low? What's that like? Yeah, you know, uh, he's definitely a load down there. He uh, He's a big guy. And, and uh, you know, going into the game, some of our, our, our game plan was to try and, you know, not let him catch it, push him off as far as possible. And um, I knew I just had to try and use my – uh, agility and, and try and get in front of them and make, make it hard for them to even catch the ball. Um, and, uh, you know, I think that that was uh, pretty effective close to the end of the game. You know, Zach did a great job of, of that as well. That was kind of what we were looking for. So, um, yeah, you know, he's tough down there. And during the wake of the, the two back-to-back -back 
losses, you know, against ranked teams, uh, and kind of gutting losses. How, how do you respond as a team in these final three games and adding just how critical the ACC tournament is for kind of handle that as a head coach? Yeah, definitely. I think it's uh, it's it's crunch time now. I think that, you know that's what we got to do at this point. Um, go back to practice, and a lot of it is going to be um, a lot of it's going to be mental. And and you know, I think uh, we defensively struggle with that sometimes. And uh, I think that that's what something that we're going to have to grow on into the AC tournament. We're trying to string a couple of wings he- wins together here and and uh, get a shot at the ACC tournament. And try and get to the NCAA tournament. Yeah, you know, it it, it sucks. It, it uh, You know, I, I think you want to try and play your, your best basketball in, in the biggest games. And, um, you know, it, it definitely is a little frustrating, I think. Um, yeah, I think I think we're a really good team. And, and um, we've had a lot of close, tough, um, you know, losses this year that I think um, I think we're better than than so our record shows in the ACC. And, and you know, there's a lot of tough teams in here and, and um uh, yeah, you know, it, it just really sings. You you know, you try to put your best foot forward there, the the hardest games, and and you fall come fall a little bit short. So. Anything else, Andrew? All right. Questions for coach. Uh, what what happened to Tyree and how is he? Oh, he needs second Yeah, um, you know, he's, he gives his best. You know, he just cramped up. I tried to get him out um, a couple times there, but we just can't score. He's not happy. And so, um, you know, he just, he cramped up, he's fine. What are we doing about tomorrow? Yeah, I'm all right tomorrow. That's all I really know. Doesn't look good, but, uh, you know, he those guys. But he did, you know, it's going um, to work out okay for him after, you know, having last year. They took Tim as a key on his face or something, you know, uh, happened to him. I don't know. I, I mean, I'm sure, you know, it's your teammate, you know, they, they care about him and, uh, you know, he's a popular dude on the team, but you still got to come out and play, man. You know, and I thought, I thought it was really important how we started the second half and, you know, I think Ty came out immediately, scored, and then they come down and might have scored and we turn it over. You know, and there's a, it doesn't need to be turned over. They're trying to do things you can't do. You know, we're a really good team when we share the ball and we play under control and, we don't get sped up. And that was the thing about early in the game. You know, it was elevated. You know, there's a great crowd. They're they're elevated. And I thought we played really at a great pace on offense to start the game. You know, obviously we made shots, but we also did it at our pace. They weren't speeding us up. And then it got frantic there. And when they speed us up, we're going to return it over. And so that leads to those atomic bombs. And we had four of those in the first half. And then um, – Defensive transition, get your ass back. You know, if you're not going to offensive rebound, you got four, or like two in the first half, then get back. I'm not happy about that. Uh, it's a combination of um, several people. Greg, what were the messages in the game plan today in defending Tyree Well, I think the first thing was trying to make it, you know, uh, make it a lot harder for him to catch it, which, I mean, I don't think I've played against too many post players that post up at way outside the three point line. Um, you know, I mean, I've been coaching a long time, played against some lottery bigs. I've never seen that. Um, and so that was the first thing. And then be physical. Um, we didn't go to the monster or the double team to start the game, but obviously he had his way there early. So we went to it. And I thought, it, you know, it, it slowed him down a little bit. Um, but then again, you know, it takes the big ass, our bigs have to keep him from going baseline. That's their only responsibility in that. And, they, and a couple times, three, they didn't do it. Now, you know, he made a couple tough shots too. You know, he, he threw in a couple sky hooks there. It was like, okay, you know, or Bill Russell, I guess you'd say, one of them type of deals. But he's a good player. You know, he's a, he's a really good player. He's got great touch. I think he's the best scoring big in the league. He, he enjoys passing, you know, and that's the problem, right? Go down there and do it. You know, leave somebody open. Now, I have to go back and look. I think they made a couple, but I thought the I thought we did a much better job on him this game than we did last. 
Hey, you mentioned Jarkel Joyner on offense, obviously. You also mentioned his defense. It seems maybe he doesn't get the credit that he deserves because he scores so much. It's not only an on the ball defender, but like a 60, 70 foot defender. I've noticed that more than anything, Luke, than the, than the buckets is his intensity defensively and his stance and his pace and the way he moves his feet. Um, like, and, the, and they let us play. It's not to our advantage. You know, we didn't get to the line 10 times. Ty goes sometimes 10 times himself. So, but you got to adjust to it. And um, I think he's really good at that. Casey's really good at that. They're, they got base. And, and they're strong, you know, and this is one of the advantages of, again, recruiting portal players from good programs, from good coaches. Kermit Davis could coach basketball and Tony Bennett coach basketball. So they had a good bait. More than any high school players are going to have coming in here or my program. And so they're high major transfers to a high major program that could play. Credit to Kevin, coach, for, um, for getting those two guys. And then DJ, you know, it's kind of like Jake was for us, you know. But DJ started at a high major program too, Tennessee. So um, I think I, I I love Joiner's um, mentality, his his toughness. He's an all league guard, and he's um, he might be one of the best perimeter defenders in the league. Another twenty season, another twenty season in eight point, but. Doesn't look like you're going to get a quad one this year. Why not? I mean, Duke didn't count. Did they lose? Because we got a quad one for Duke. Then we have a quad one for Duke today. Then we get one if we get one for Wisconsin. I mean, I got two. I got a couple quad one wins, like because the quad one is so stupid that we're sitting here, Duke at thirty two or something, and, and Wisconsin at seventy eight. We'll go win at Wisconsin. Good luck. All right, you're right. I mean, we don't have we don't we haven't won the right games to get in the tournament. That's what you're asking me, and I I, I don't disagree with that one. I hope, but I'll say this again, and I said it to my man Joe back there yesterday. I don't, I don't believe in a metric where you win and you go down six, and the team that beats you beat goes up more than you do. How is that possible? And I'm not saying that we deserve to be in the tournament. I'm not. We don't. But that's a bad metric. And my livelihood depends on it, and so does Kevin's. And we can't even explain it. I don't get paid for that. I get paid to coach to win by one, not to spread. Point. Heads, where did it go? No. We just, it's like, um, I don't know. It's like you got to mix up your coverages, right? Kind of football, baseball, mix up your pitches. Um, I'll be honest, the, the whole second half we went when he was in the game. Obviously, we didn't do it when he wasn't. Um, we didn't just start out that way. We tried to make him guess a little bit. and But then the whole second half, it was, we're going. And, you know, he made some plays and some he didn't. What's your assessment? A lot of this week, from the media standpoint, it's been a lot of media tabloids bashing the power of conference ACC, just saying ACC boosted What's your opinion on just hearing the outside noise and just you because how do you feel the power of conference at ACC? I mean, I don't listen to that, um, but I've been asked that. So, yeah, I mean, I think it's the same thing as last year. I mean, again, sometimes it's perception. Like, people aren't used to seeing Pitt, NC State, I shouldn't say that. NC State's won two national championships, for God's sake. But Pitt, uh, who else is up here, fellas, in the league? Miami, Clemson, Wade, you know, whatever. I think that explains a lot to you right there. Not the, It's not the two down the road. So that's where we – that's how our identity, in my opinion, is created. And rightfully so, those are two great programs, right? I think that's some of it. Some of it is – Maybe we didn't win enough games in November again. I don't know. You guys could tell me that. I felt like we did, you know, we did the best we could do. Um, again, how can you make that judgment until we get in the tournament? Again, last year we had three teams in the Elite Eight and two in the Final Four one play for the national championship. So I don't know if you can really make that judgment. It's just a lot of – somebody's got to talk about something. 
Okay, so that's what it is. Um, maybe we need to do a better job of talking about our league as coaches. I think we should all be supporting each other. I'm so happy for Kevin. And he turned to stay. He had a hard – he came in here and won last year. And we got him at our place. But he came in and swept us. And, he, and I know he was feeling some heat. He's doing a hell of a job. Just like John Shire is doing a hell of a job following a, a final a, – a legend. It would be like following John Wood. Would you, would you want to do that? Gene Bartow lasted two years doing that. And then he went to UAB and started a program, okay? I think he lost two games, too. I don't know, man. I, I just think uh, we got a great product. We had some Hall of Fame coaches retire, two, two guys on Mount Rushmore. There's going to be a little bit of that. But it can't be me because it can't be Mike Young. So it's got to be some of these other guys that, you know, are, that are, um, have accomplished a lot in this league. I'm just trying to get a program back to being competitive and respectful. respectful. And I think we're getting there, but we're not where I want to be. And so I'm, I'm disappointed, you know, in this game tonight because, again, like, you know, like Josh said, we had two opportunities at Miami at here tonight to win a quad one game. We didn't do it. We don't get quad one games at home. We're not the Big 12. Every game in the Big 12 is a quad one. Don't ask me how, but it is. So we don't get that. So we got to go on the road. Last year we beat North Carolina at home by 22 points. They went to the national championship as a quad two win. Okay. Right. What I asked those two past two quad one games, um, really good offense from your team getting around 90 points, but it was the turnovers that kind of proved to be. Those yeah, I mean, turnovers, we don't defend. I mean, we're not a great defensive team. I don't think that's any secret. That's why we're not an NCAA tournament team right now. Because to win in the NCAA tournament and go to the tournament, you got to do both. You got to def- score and you got to defend. And uh, we're, we're as good an offensive team as there is in the league. Ain't no doubt about that. But you got to do other things. Can't turn it over. Especially if you're not great defensively, you better not turn it over. And we hadn't been doing that. Last time we played these guys, I think we had five. Right? But, you know, now we're turning it over. It's not a good time to be doing that. And we, and we got to be tougher defensively. It wasn't just DJ. Bro, some guys were driving our guards to the basket. Come on, now. Guard the ball. One on one basketball. Uh, earlier this week about the importance of being honest with your team about the road ahead and what they need to do. How do you kind of keep them together down the stretch around the three games? Now it looks like you need to win the ACC tournament. It's really good. Because I'm going to be the same coach tomorrow that I was yesterday and on June 14th. And they know I'm not playing it. I'm coming with it. And so they're going to come with it or they're going to be miserable or they're going to move or they're not going to play. I don't, I don't worry about that because Ty and Davey are great leaders of the team. They have good spirit. Guys, if they didn't have good spirit, they would have got blown out of Miami. They got blown out here tonight. I know the score kind of got up there a little bit at the end, but I mean, we faced some adversity. We kept it there. Um, I'm not worried about that. They know. I talked to them. We got to win these next couple at home. We got to go to Syracuse. Could have 21 wins. And we go play in the tournament, see what happens. You got to play for the best seed in the tournament you can get. I mean, that's the key right now. And I told them that right after the game. I mean, that, that, you got to be honest right now. I mean, you can't be painting the picture that doesn't, ain't real. Anything else to coach? Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thanks.